Okay, I'm making avocado brownies from my blog because I don't have um, I don't have enough avocado to make the one the version from my book that's twice the size. So we have a whole avocado. This one was actually frozen, and then I thawed it out and I just put it in here, and it's nice and soft. We got two tablespoons of um, this is cashew butter. And I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure it's two tablespoons of ghee or coconut oil. Oh no, it's a quarter cup. So then that's four tablespoons. Sorry, I'm like doing this off memory, so hopefully I don't mess it up. Okay, and this is the, because I'm doing dairy free now, this is this stuff, which is really good. Then we have a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And half a teaspoon of ooh, sorry, baking soda. And some salt. Let's do a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then there's a heaping, heaping half cup, if I'm not mistaken, of cacao powder. And my oven is, oh no, heaping quarter cup, I think. And my oven just preheated. So, cacao powder, um, and then same thing with the sweetener, and I'm using this one, which I've heard is better than Swerve, everyone seems to like it, so I'm testing it out, and I think that's it, oh yeah, I was going to add some gelatin to these just to um, up the protein since I worked out a lot today and I didn't get too much protein with dinner so put some protein in my brownies and you can use collagen obviously for this but using gelatin um, will make them nice and uh, nice and uh, chewy okay and I like chewy all right and then eggs and I think that's all she wrote Bless you, that's my husband sneezing in the background. Ah! Okay. Let's get that. Avocado mush down. Okay, you want to make sure the avocado is pretty dissolved in there so you don't get green chunks. Um, which, if you do, it's okay. Some people don't mind them. Um, I usually make this in the blender, but it's harder to show what's going on in a, in a blender than a food processor. Alright, I think this is ready to go. Usually the batter's softer. Like I said, I'm kind of doing this from memory, but I think it's just because the eggs were so cold. All right, so now we transfer it to a baking dish.
Okay, I've topped with dark chocolate and now this is gonna go in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. So good and chewy. The gelatin, <laughs> my teeth, that's really good, like texture.